Guys, this is update number seven. Seven updates, here we go. I'm gonna go through this one super quickly. Like I'm gonna go light speed through it. Like you won't even be able to blink. I'm gonna go so fast. We've got docs on docs on docs. Docs for anything you wanna do. Image segmentation, classification. Wanna import data? We got docs on that. What's the UDT JSON format like? We got a doc for that. Using data sets with Python and pandas? Yeah, we got a doc for that. Integrate the UDT into your web app? We got a doc for that. And we got an example for that. That's right, use it in a sandbox. Wanna train your labelers? We got a doc for that. And we got a video for that. Yeah, I mean, so I think the general idea is that we, we have a lot of documentation now. You can go to it by clicking docs up here or docs.universaldatatool.com, but we might start adding links to the docs in other places. You can now get to the universal data tool by going to udt.dev. Check this out. It's also still on universaldatatool.com. You can now use any image from Coco, the Coco data set. This one, you know, Coco. Coco, common objects in context. Coco. Anything you want, you just type in the name. So let's say a cat. We want a dog. We want an elephant. Boom. It's going to load those images for us from that data set. All I have to do is type in those labels and hit add samples. Look at that. I just imported 10,000 images. Easy. There's a dog in this one. Okay, so let's say some of your images are coming in blank. You got some invalid images, some bad image URLs. This new remove invalid samples option goes through your data set and removes those images for you. Takes a little while. Also, shout out to my man Kong DV who uh, fixed some hotkey issue this week. Um, made it so that clearing hotkeys actually works. That's it for this week. If you haven't already, hop into our Slack, especially if you want to contribute. If you like this content, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're also going to be doing some live stream development, so you will be able to catch that if you subscribe. Also, this little, also the little bell. I think the little bell, uh, I think the little bell is actually what makes it so that you'll know. Thanks again to our contributors, and we've got a lot of exciting stuff coming next week. See you then.